Hey gang, Jack Allaire here uh, with my son. We have been uh, to our first day at uh, AlmaCon. It is a uh, anime convention, well, anime gaming convention yeah. in uh, at Alma College in Michigan, uh, somewhere near Saginaw. I'm a little unclear of where exactly we are. I just followed the little lady in the box. But what do you think so far? It was really fun. We got to see people and their costumes. What was your favorite costume so far? I don't know. Did you get a chance to see the links? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw. So these guys did the. There were four people, and they each dressed up as a different colored link from Zelda Four Swords. Mm -hmm. Two guys and two girls. Yeah. Which is weird. I have to remember to link them on the... I took pictures of them. I need to remember to link them on uh, uh, bah, 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 Facebook. They gave me their things. I uh, went into the vendors. Uh, saw a bunch of artists mm -hmm. down there. Um, some really good ones. Somebody doing uh, engraved glass, which was really cool. So, Nathan, if you're watching this, engraved glass. Go to cons. Bring some examples. Uh, things we actually saw, go ahead, um, we wandered around for a good long while, and I think the first thing we went to was what we thought was, uh, pop culture improv, but it actually ended up being, uh, supervillain improv. It was Ivy. Poison Ivy. Vegeta. Vegeta. From Dragon Ball Z. Lucy, from, um... Uh, Elfin line. Elf, Elven line? Elfin line. Whatever. I think they spelled it. Anyways. And then there was Slenderman for some. Slenderman. So, they're all villains. Well, yeah, but Slenderman doesn't. It's not really a game where there's a protagonist and antagonist, because there's no real. The villains don't need goal. a protagonist. Okay. They're villains. Yeah, so he didn't talk during the old thing, which made it. More fun. I feel real bad that I gave them the Sharpie and then it went through his mask onto the actor's face. <laughs> that was... I feel bad about that. No, they were the ones that did it. I know, I know. They asked, they're like, I don't have a Sharpie. And of course, me, like, you're right, I don't need you. You want to write on the guy's face? Ooh. Sharpie doesn't come off, folks. No. Um, then we went to... Um, it's like we go there tomorrow, then we see... Him. Oh, and we got there late, so I didn't remember her name. We spent a lot of time in the video game room. Uh, the tabletop room wasn't wasn't set up. We need to check that tomorrow. Yeah. But we also uh, went to a nice panel, but I can't remember who's... I didn't catch her name because we came in there like five minutes late. But oh, it was, the, uh, it uh, was... Cosplay on a budget. Yeah. Which she was basically saying, you know, hey, find things that are around, and, and also gave some good information about buying wigs, wigs which uh, may be helpful for me if I want to play a character that has hair. <laughs> uh, then we went to, uh, the we played some more video games after that. Smash Brothers seems to be the most popular one there. Yeah, I mean, there was Guitar Hero, but there was... They only... have every version of Smash Brothers except the Wii version. Of what? Of Brawl? Of Smash Brothers. They have Smash Brothers on Nintendo 64. They have... They have Melee, Brawl, and Wii U. No. But yeah, they had Brawl in the thing. They and just GameCube. Hmm? Oh, they did have the Wii version? Yeah. But, but nobody was playing it. No. So that... Cause that there's should a tell new, you something. There's an updated one. But people were still playing the Nintendo 64 version, and people were still playing the GameCube version. They were not playing the Wii version. That should tell you how much people didn't like that one. But we uh, we ended up with uh, a fantastic panel that we're gonna go see another one of his tomorrow. Uh, but it is called, uh, and I'm gonna butcher this. So everybody who can speak Japanese, go ahead and correct me in the comments below. But uh, Kawaii Ghosts Yokai and Japanese Monster Culture. With Charles Dunbar. Dumb bear. 
I know he's probably heard that a million times, but uh, he <laughs> basically it was just going through and explaining uh, Japanese monsters to us because we've all Bar. we know our monsters I'm... and European monsters, so we know about werewolves and vampires. I but... know about the fox one, the weird one that grows nine the tails. Kitsun? Yeah, I know about that one. I have a cold too, so I can't pronounce anything. There was there were a bunch of other ones that mm-hmm. I that I know I've learned of in the past, but I can't remember their names. Yeah. And that pretty much ended it out the day for us because everything else was eighteen plus. We could have gone to the rave, but eh. um, tomorrow we're gonna go learn about ADR scripting for so for those of you who are. Subtitle only. Be gone. Uh, we're going to learn about that. We're probably going to learn, uh, if you can draw a stick figure, you can draw anything. It's going to teach us how to draw, which will be pretty good for us. I don't know why it's 13 plus, though. Uh, I don't know. It's 13 plus, and then in the description it says, open to all ages. Yeah. So, you're close enough to 13. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Let's Make a Manga panel. And then we're going to pop in and out of the cosplay contest as we see fit. And then we are going to end the day with another one of Charles Dunbar. Dunbar. You don't even know why I do that, do you? No. Okay. Remind me to make you watch Dances with Wolves. Okay. Uh, But we're going to watch, uh, go to the panel, an international game of telephone, a timeline of Japanese cross-cultural trade. (laughs) Which is basically, he's going to go uh, actually take a historical look at what happens when uh, Japan finds something cool in America and then takes it and doesn't use takes it but uses it differently and then we do the same thing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth which has been happening forever but that is our plan for tomorrow this is the end of uh, day one I uh, also got lots of cool lots of cool stuff the the artists here are awesome yeah uh, they are real nice to talk to uh, one of them was uh, nice enough uh, Morphe and that's not her name but this is a, a postcard that she gave and um, it's basically got a, a web comment that I'm going to go and read uh, probably tonight it's or so No, oh, and there's all the all the other information it's backwards. No, it just looks that way. It's so that when we do this, it looks like a mirror. Oh. So it doesn't okay. screw with our brains. Okay. Because otherwise, if you do this and your other arm lifts up, your brain goes, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on. We also got the other person that did the glasses. That we got her postcard. Yeah, we got her. She got. She gave us a business card. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a rundown of that. Some fun stuff. Uh, probably at, at the once we get back home, I'll do a rundown Saturday. That way I can scan them and get them all looking pretty for you folks. But uh, just thought we'd uh, drop a line, let you know how we're doing. And tomorrow I'm gonna buy tons of the soda. Gonna buy soda with marbles in it. Goofball. <laughs> I bought a giant case of mallow cups, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> but uh, that's it for us. Uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. As always, play on. Bye.